guys, it's Jill here at the Boys and Girls Club. And for our first session um, for the week of parental skill building, I kind of am going to do a series of things. And if they get kind of mixed up and I go out of order, that will be okay. And um, it will all intertwine together and make sense in the very end. Um, I know that when I um, decided that I wanted to go back to work, this past year and it had been about five years since I had been out of the workforce I had to update my resume and it had been many many years before that that I had made my initial resume so I had to get online and start looking around and it was just a nightmare and um, like I said I already had one in place but still if you have to update make one or whatever um, it is just it's it can be difficult and tricky but um, years ago when I first started in the workforce Resumes were a lot longer. It seemed like the longer resume that you had the better that it was But I have noticed in the past few years that we do a more simplified resume And that's what I'm going to send to you guys and talk about today And I've got a mock um, Copy that will go out in the packets and I don't know how many um, videos we'll do this week like I said, they will all go in. They will all go hand in hand. I'll do a resume. Then we will talk about filling out an application and just um, steps. And this is for young adults too that's heading out into the workforce. Just steps that you can take to hopefully maybe um, help you easier to find a job. We all know that we live in an area where there's not a whole lot of jobs. Um, you know, there. I, I know that you see now hiring signs occasionally, but there are steps in getting a job, and we want to make sure that if we want to get out in the workforce that we do them um, correctly so that the job will be, you know, that we can get our job. So this is going to be just a simplified resume, and like I said, I use this format for mine. I found out um, many years ago I was in banking for um, over 10 years, I guess. I was uh, in banking, and I was a branch supervisor, and we had about seven tellers, and any time that we lost a teller, they, you know, and somebody applied for the job, that's when the big, long resumes were in place, and they were kind of shifting to a smaller, more simplified uh, one, but it was very hard to go through and read a four-page resume. You didn't, I mean, you read about it, but you didn't remember by the time you read four pages, and if you had four different candidates, that was a lot of information to have to remember about one person. So I found throughout the years that they made it more simplified, and man, am I ever glad that they did that. But like I said, mine's on one sheet. Um, and the important things that, you know, that you're going to do is you're going to put your name at the top, of course. And you can get online if you don't like this layout. This is just a standard layout that I printed online, um, just like a sample. And there's many different um, samples that you can choose from. So you don't have to go by this one. But I just wanted to send home just a base copy that even if you just wanted to get on, you know, Word and start working on it and trying to do your own resume. So you're going to list your name. And then you're going to list your objective. And um, like, okay, for instance, when I applied for the job here at the Boys and Girls Club, the position open was the Family Outreach Coordinator, which I am now, because I got the position, obviously. Um, I listed up here that my objective was to, and I don't remember exactly, you know, how I worded it, but I just wanted to, you know, find a career with um, some background, in, you know, that I had the uh, my work history and things like that my education history and i listed on there that I, the desired job in position that i was wanting was the family outreach coordinator so i just made a little you know uh, two line three line um with the objective of my resume which was for applying for that position then second is my experience and I know employers like seven to 10 years of your previous experience. Now, if you're a, a high school graduate, just going into college and you're looking for a job, you will not have any type of experience, but you can do like volunteer work um, that you have done throughout high school and stuff. Those always look good on a resume. So just because you don't have any experience, I don't think that knocks you out of getting a job or anything like that, but you can list, you know, maybe some, um, volunteer work that you did there or uh, clubs and 
um, those might be in the interest or anything that would help with um, knowing like what you did history and experience and things like that you could list there then you're going to go to your education now on this one this has um, I think this is for just post uh, secondary education which is after high school which would be your college some people list the high school they graduated from and you go to the most recent down so say you just attended southeast for a semester so you will list southeast um, Kentucky Community and Technical College as your school and you would put the location and if you got your degree um, it says list any relative extracurricular work like if you were part of any of the clubs or if you got student of the month or anything like that you could list there with your education now I think that that would be sufficient but if you wanted to come down underneath that and list the high school that you graduated from that would be perfect too I, I, you know I don't think that that would be um, anything that you know would it that would deter them that they would know which high school you um, attended interest this is um you can list any clubs hobbies anything skill building um classes that you have done outside of like if you went to southeast if you had some classes in high school anything um interest that would be um that would help you in your job like for instance and this is just a um Example, like I am the family outreach coordinator, and if I had taken some, say, some family courses, learning courses or something, I could list that there that might help me to get that job that they would look on my resume and say, hey, you know, she has some um, experience, you know, I have children, so I didn't list that on there. But that was, you know, they would, they knew that I was familiar with family activities and doing things like that. So anything that would help you to apply for, you know, that for experience with the job that you are applying for, list that on there. They don't know that you did that unless you tell them. And then the last thing you're going to do is references. Now, if you have, um, they want a lot of times a non-relative to be your reference Sometimes you could have a supervisor or somebody that you worked closely with that if you like if you have had a previous work history that you um, worked closely with that saw how you worked or your former supervisor, you could list those. You could do a friend. Um, references can be personal references or work related references. But I would list someone that knows that has been around you um, for a lengthy period of time that can give you a character reference on what type of person you are. Especially if you've had if you've had job history, you know they'll want to know. Well, did um, did Jill come in on time? If or was she late every day? Or how was her work ethic? Did she do the jobs that she was supposed to do? Those type of references. Now, if I included a former boss, though, my boss could answer those questions. So that is where you would put your work references. Now, like I said, if you haven't worked or are a college or high school graduate and this is your first time applying for a job and making a resume, that's where I would do a personal reference. It may be somebody that was non-related that knows you and your character, how you are. I would list them as a reference. And then at the bottom, this has all of your information, like your phone number, your email address, your address. Now, you have two choices. You can put it down here at the bottom. I think, um, I told you wrong at the beginning, I think on mine, I have my name and all my information is under that. So you have two opportunities or ways to do that. And like I said, there are plenty of examples online. Resumes are very important and don't do like I did. Don't make your resume and wait years um, and not update it because I had a hard time going in there and having to redo everything and update my resume for when I applied for my job here. So that is something that's very important in um, going out and searching for a job. You know, if you see a job that you're interested in, you know, they'll say um, apply online or upload your resume or come in and apply. Resumes are very important. So this is the first segment of our parental skill building that we're going to work on. Um, it's not just parental. Like I said, this could be for young adults, teenagers that might want a part-time job. Resumes are very, very important in life. So um, I will send this out with a packet and we will have the next segment might be how we're going to do a job application or something. I'm not sure how, which way I'll go with it, but we will definitely build every week on what we're doing in order to be make um, 
make it easier and to know what to look for in applying for a job and to get that job. That's our goal that we're going to do. We're going to find a job, we're going to apply for a job, and we're going to get that job. Guys, it was great um, talking with you today, and I look forward to the next session. Bye!